This is Angela Bellinas, and I like playing at the beach. Welcome to Five Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and their dad, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Hey, everybody, this is Nick Pavlidis, and thank you so much for being here for another episode of Five Minutes with Dad. This is the podcast where you get to listen in on a little father-son or daddy-daughter time with me, my six-year-old son, Pavlos, and my four-year-old daughter, Angela. Before I play today's episode, I want to bring up the resource of the week. This week's resource continues February's Valentine's Day, Ourselves and Our Spouses Improvement Month. And this is a book that I read last year that I really, really loved. And it's called Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less by Greg McCown. If you want to pick up a copy, you head on over to five minutes with dad.com slash essentialism. And that's our affiliate link to bring you over to Amazon to pick it up. If you are not yet a member of Audible, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Nick. They're a sponsor of the show. That gives you a free 30 day trial and one free book. So you can pick up essentialism and listen to it and keep it even if you cancel in the trial period. I have done so much learning through audible and audiobooks. I really, really encourage you. So essentialism, why am I mentioning it? It's not a book about minimalism. It's not a book about efficiency. It's not a book about doing more in less time, but essentialism is a book that helps you focus on getting the right things done. This is for you and for your family. So if you are looking to your relationships, what are the right things? What are the essential things that you can do, that you can focus on to improve your life, to improve your relationships, to improve your work habits, to improve everything around you? It's a different way of looking at productivity. It's a different way of looking at your goals, at yourself, at what you're looking to do in life. I really encourage you to pick up the book check it out. I know you'll enjoy it. I have read through it two times and that's very rare that I read a book more than once. Usually I get excited about it. I start applying what I, what I get from the book and I move on to the next book to add to that. But this is one of the books that I've read more than one time. So head on over five minutes with dad.com slash essentialism. Enjoy the show. Who's ready for an awesome episode of Five Minutes with Dad? Pavlos! Five Minutes with who? Pavlos! <laughs> That's right. I am here with Pavlos Pavlidis, and we snuck upstairs to the studio because it's way past someone's... Bedtime! <laughs> Bedtime. So if you hear someone yawning on this episode, it's Pavlos Pavlidis, huh? Yeah! <laughs> All right, Pavlos, you were just about to tell me about a yellow book. What is the yellow book? Let's talk about that. It is a book where you can write on. It's it look it looks like a a green this green one that has a three on it with and it's and it. That's smaller. Oh, it's a small notepad. Make sure you're talking into the mic so everyone can hear you, buddy. It's a small notepad. And what's inside? Boy book. Yes, Pavlos wrote a book about flowers. And he talks all about... Monsters that don't like anything except for a house. (laughs) He wrote a book about what? Monsters that don't like anything except for a house. You did, because it's funny that you just brought this up to me, because Pavlos' teacher sends home a sheet of paper every week that talks about one of Pavlos' friends from school. It talks about an educational website. It gives notes and reminders about class. It talks about what they're learning. And Pavlos, this week, is learning about what in writing class? Do you know? Uh to write a story of information, and I write it on an information story that goes up to nine already. Whoa. And I'm going to add more and more pages. It had five, but then I add more and more pages, and I'm going to make it go up to 26. Yes, and everybody here who listens to the show knows that Daddy writes books. And I got a note home from Pavlos' school that says in writing class, they're working on their nonfiction unit creating 
informational slash teaching books, and it tells the parents questions to ask about what they're learning. And one of the questions, and this is the question I want to ask you, Pablo, and you answered it a little bit, but I want to make sure that we're talking about the same book here. Tell me about the book you're writing in Writer's Workshop. Dinosaurs. You're... And the words are, this is a brontosaurus. In the background, you can see a pterodactyl. This is a T-Rex. In the background, you can see a random raptor. This dinosaurs were alive many years ago. Um, uh, dinosaurs uh, were al- alive 80 years Dinosaurs were alive in 1940. Uh, <laughs> That's... Dinosaurs were alive um, alive in 80 years ago. 80 years ago? Or 80 million years ago? 80 million years <laughs> You know, ago. Big Yaya is over 80 years old. You think she was walking around with dinosaurs? Yeah. <laughs> no, she wasn't walking around with dinosaurs. But listen, there were more. There were more questions. So you wrote a book about dinosaurs, and when you bring it home, maybe because I know that you know so much about dinosaurs and you love dinosaurs so much, maybe we can turn it into a book that people can get from our website. Would you like that? Yeah. And they can read it with their kids, and their kids can learn about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And we can think of a fun name to call it. What do you think we can call the book? The Dinosaur Team! <laughs> the Dinosaur Team. I like it. Okay, so Pavlos, what are you an expert on? That's another question that your teacher at home Dinosaurs! Would ask. Dinosaurs. Yeah, are you an expert on anything else? No. I think you are. No. <laughs> and can you use your five fingers to show me? What does that mean? I... I'm an expert of dinosaurs in art. Dinosaurs in art. You are an expert in art. But what does your teacher, your teacher told me to say, what are you an expert on? Use your five fingers to show me. What does the five fingers thing mean? Dinosaurs art. Recess and game land monopoly. <laughs> Dinosaurs art, recess, games and monopoly. Oh, so five fingers to show me is your teacher uh, had you guys think of five things that you that you're experts on. So when you use your five fingers, that means say all five of them, right? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, Pablos, I am ah. super excited about your dinosaur book. I can't wait to read it. Maybe that can be one of our bedtime stories for Angela too. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Well, it's way past your bedtime. The five minutes are up, and it is time to go to bed. Seven minutes now. (laughs) All right. Tell everybody thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Mom. Thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Pablos. We're going to have another episode in one minute. (laughs) Right now. (laughs) Bye-bye-bye-bye. No, 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 no. So there you have it. Another episode of Five Minutes with Dad in the books. Don't forget to check out Essentialism, the Discipline Pursuit of Less as we continue this self and spouse improvement month at Five Minutes with Dad. You can get that at five minutes with dad.com slash essentialism or through audibletrial.com slash Nick. You get it for free if you're not a member of Audible yet. You get the audio version for free. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com.